back in um, 2000, I believe that the service providers did not know as much as they do now. So I wouldn't really say that it's their responsibility to, to inform um, the clients, especially back then when people were moving in. Um, I do believe that they have a lot more information now, um, that they could do more to inform the residents now, 14 years later though. Right. If you're purveying information to people who can't read and finding out the ways that they can be informed, um, the service providers know, don't they know, who, um, who, which clients can read and which some, can't? Some of the clients are very honest in what their needs are. Some of the clients aren't. And so I wouldn't say that they know who actually can read and write or who understands and who doesn't. Now, there are clients that will go to the service provider and say, we don't understand this. Can you explain it to me? And yes, it's their obligation to explain it. I, I do believe it's their responsibility to do that. But for those that don't. How do they know? Exactly. Yeah. And, know. and that's where and that's where the misinformation is that's where the miscommunication is with a, a lot of information that is very vital to a lot of residents that are all of the residents that are out here